Renovations do not go away. And welcome to this week's Retro Renovations. We're giving you update on two months of van life. So we have been living two months now in our van. And this video is going to be unedited. You're going to see it as we record it. Yes. Or as she uploads it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get so many words wrong. Peggy's going to try and guide me. Or guide herself or guide someone guide dog guide dog yeah <laughs> as she says it my tummy went and right seriously we discussed this earlier and we've done no practices <laughs> <laughs> number one number one taking a poo <laughs> or in other words <laughs> toilet <laughs> toilet i get asked the first question where did you go well we have a toilet yeah we go to the toilet because we said toilet the dogs come over <laughs> Good boy. Sit. right so when we chose what vehicle we were going to have we chose a small motorhome it's a bit bigger than a van it's not as big as a conventional motorhome. It's, it's a small motorhome. It is a four berth. And there are smaller, you can get two berths. But we decided that poo with a view was not an option for us. No. I've got the bladder the size of a pixie. And you've got to go. So anyway, we got a room in there. Which has got a Thetford toilet in it. Yeah, it's got the old Series 1, so that's a manual flush, not an electronic. Heard horror stories about the electronic and obviously Hack. living in here, we don't want it to go wrong. So, And we found it easy to use. Yep, we did. The blue and stuff keeps the we, smell down. We're very lucky. There's a builder's yard nearby and we literally slipped the guy uh, a little bit of money to get himself a drink and we're allowed to empty our toilet there so we so, empty it about once or twice a week yeah depending it, on if we're here or if we're out and about because we are semi-static so obviously we both work full time mm -hmm. um i'm out delivering in the day monday to friday and peggy works in it is that what you call it well i suppose it'd be it you have to excuse the dog. <laughs> he's having him around five minutes. So if he's shaking, he's knocking the table. If we go, then he's knocked us over. Uh, so yeah, that's that, really. We we empty it. About once or twice a week. We go while we're at work. Yeah. Pay, pay to poo. Pay to poo. <laughs> pay to pee and pay to poo. Yeah. So, and um, we've been we paid to go on we don't pay very often to go on a campsite but if you go on a campsite you get facilities you can put it in there we've so far only paid once we've been very cheeky as you might have seen in an earlier video um they charge 20p to go to a lot of uk toilets western superman is a prime example of that we paid the 20p and to empty the yep. cassette if you're paying the 20p and you get like 15 minutes it doesn't take you 15 minutes to have a pee you may as well empty out your. Uh, <laughs> you may, may as well empty out it your. It doesn't make a mess. Set toilet because you just. It's a toilet. You're emptying the toilet into a toilet. It's got a long tube. It's if you do it well. We've done it so often now and so frequently. We can do it without making a mess. So that's toilet issue num sorted out. So number two, how do we cook? Yeah, people go. I had one again today. How do you cook? Well, how does everybody else cook? We, we have, have an oven. We have an oven. We have a grill. <laughs> yeah. And we have a three ring hob. Three ring hob. So we cook exactly the same as everybody else on gas. So we're cooking on gas. 
But the only thing we're doing, yes, in the van? Peggy cooks. Oh, yeah, okay. I cook. Yeah. No, there's no, there's no we. I yeah. can't cook. I can't, I so can't get I toast cook for. in the van. The only thing Chloe does is put the kettle on to do the hot water bottles. Yeah, I pour the kettle quite a bit for <laughs> hot water bottles. So we have Calagas, and all we do is use that for our cooking because there's nothing else hooked up to the gas. So in the camper, we've got the 904 and the 907 butane Calagas bottles. Now, we do know in the winter when it gets down to zero, I'm going to have to try and wrap them up. And I've been looking at things that we can do to wrap them up because if they get to zero, the butane stops. I'm aware of that. Um, we've got a workshop. Which is an off-grid workshop. Which is an off-grid workshop. When we go to the workshop, because we've got a classic cars that we look after, we, uh, we have a cooker in there. and that's We have an on, oven and a two-ring hob. Yeah, and that's on propane. So we do cook in the workshop when we're there. Yes. Number three, pets. This one. He's, you want to be in on the action today, don't you? He is so much better, well-behaved, loving, since we've moved into the van. I think the close proximity helps him he yes. feels more like this yes um i'm not going to say the word but w a stroll l k s <laughs> we do a lot <laughs> a lot morning i come back a lot of time and so on evening so when we're working in the week he stays in the van and i come back frequently and let him out and if we're at the t the end of the town where the workshop is then i will let him out the van and he free he, roams he free van. roams the yard and the, and the workshop he can't get out of the exit perimeter so uh he has plenty to roam and plenty of space to go about and in the evenings and weekends he gets plenty of straws so what we're doing is We've been filming. There's a lot of editing to do. Yeah. There's a lot of videos to come. And we've focused them more with Jack. So you get to see what van life is like when we're out on our adventures. With a dog. With a dog. Yeah. Number four. Don't know. What have we gone? No, we didn't choose four or five. <laughs> we haven't chosen four or five. We okay. never chose four and five. We did say we were going to do five, and we never chose anything. Electricity. Okay, yeah, solar. Solar. Now, we had limited funds before we surrendered the house. It was some money that was kindly it was left, left to, to Peggy from her tour now. And... We decided that we would put 210 amp hour batteries in the workshop, mm -hmm. wired in parallel, yep. with an inverter, doing, dog? and a 110 watt solar it's panel. It's only 100 watt. 100 watt? Yeah. Oh. What? 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 So, sounds small, but it's fine for everything we do in the workshop we so far have never got below it does drop to 12 volts sometimes but that depends if we've not had much sunshine yeah and we've recently just moved the panel so we now get more sunshine it, in the summer months it was up to it was charging max 13.6 14 volts at one point it was really hammering the filling up the batteries they were to, they were chocker all the time now we're sitting about three quarters really we had a real wet spell a few weeks ago it dropped down to yeah. half um winter's coming we've moved the panels up that angle and we do have a wind turbine that's arrived with the parts and we are going to set that up pretty soon yes. so you can watch That'll the be space another for video. That. yeah so that will help us through the winter months in the van d 
didn't work so well. No. So that's all, that's all in the workshop. And obviously we can charge in the workshop and we can switch batteries and mm -hmm. when we're going away and so on. Um, we try to travel about in the evening times and different places. But yeah. we obviously for work we travel local in the week and then weekends local. we get away. Yeah. So we got time to switch batteries and so on. In the van we had a smaller panel. What was mm. it? A 30 watt? I think it's only a 20 watt. It's not a very big panel. No. So we put that on the roof. Got that be enough to it, just do our lights and to charge our phones. Literally all we want in the van. Um, and every now and then my laptop if we're out and about. Yeah, in the van we just want to charge phones and the lights. That's all we ever used it for because that we were using torches before and so that's that and and, and we've got a small little inverter plugs in which i can plug my which yeah powers peggy's laptop yeah we don't need much power really in the van no um we don't have we don't use a fridge or freezer no. or nothing like that so yeah that panel isn't cutting the mustard no, so what we're thinking of doing is upgrading the one on, on for the van to the same one that's on the lodge or the what we call watt the lodge, panel. Um, which is a part of the workshop. Because that's keeping two leisure batteries fully topped yeah. up. We've um, only got one leisure battery in here, so it's going to keep that brimming. But the actual solar panel itself is flexible, so it can go on the curve of the roof. So that's why I'd like that one to a same one or similar one to go on to the on to fat onto faith um and then we're going to upgrade the ones for the workshop and the lodge um um because it's even though we've got power and everything in there it would be nice to just have that little bit extra because i need to have some lighting for my studio section there so we just need that extra bit um where my, so I can do my painting, my glass painting, and my artwork um, for the winter because at the moment it's starting to get very dark in my little corner. In little corner, <laughs> literally. It is a little corner. Um, so five, so we don't bore you. Yeah, number five. Close proximity living. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't. Hang on a minute. But I smell so delightful. <laughs> it's a dog. I smell. <laughs> Close <laughs> proximity. Because we work during the week, it's not a problem. Because we both have separate jobs. She actually said to me that she would happily stay with me all week. Yes. I had a week off recently from my actual paid job. Paid leave. And for the apart from one day which I had... An afternoon away from Chloe I actually worked with Chloe um, and yet still no problems Pro close proximity living together no problems at all we don't get arguments we have a few if disagreements anything, but we don't have arguments we work better in the space yeah um, we've allocated what are you doing dog? we've allocated dog. I have to excuse the dog's head is going underneath the table <laughs> cupboard space is allocated <laughs> yep we don't waste food and anything because you've only got a small space for storage so you're so working we your meals out. We literally buy our food and buy buy fresh food every day or every other day depending on what we're buying. So if we're buying salad stuff I usually just buy enough just for that one day so there is no waste. We have stored stuff. We have tins stored. Yeah, and we, we got have tins stored. Um, chocolate, hot chocolate stored. Yeah, and that, Those sort of things. Your normal cupboard staple. There, we still have all those. But anything fresh produce, anything fridge-wise, and anything frozen, because we don't have a fridge or a freezer, it's... It's going to move you up. Yeah, I know. The dog keeps knocking. <laughs> right, so everybody... Um, we, yeah, we don't have a fridge or a freezer. So the best thing for us to do is literally buy only what we need for that day or, like I said, if it's something that can last a couple of days, something we can store for just a couple of days. Proper van life. He is. He loves it. Aww. 
He absolutely loves it, as you can see why. Because he gets his fusses. He gets his cuddles. So, I think we've answered a few basic questions. But if you do have any more questions, please, please do put them in the comments below. And we will answer them on our next Q&A video, yeah. which will probably be in about a month's time. We'll so do you have Q plenty in of, a month. So you do have plenty of time to get your questions below. So yeah, we're living the van life. We're living in a miniature man. We live in the van like well, it's still a van. It's it's, it's got on a no, Ford Transit base. It's got no luxuries. When this, no, we've when got no this, shower. This no running water. Years old and it's hanging. <laughs> but it does. It's us. It's it's retro. So it's retro innovation. Yeah, it needs renovating. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll leave it there. So yeah, if you want to put any comments in below, it will give us. Comments below, you mean questions in the comments below, I please. I do it at Hubbug at some point. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below. If you do have any comments, please put them in the comments below. Um, if you want to subscribe, please don't forget to click subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get all the notifications for when we post our next videos. She's so professional. <laughs> We're on Facebook as well. We are on Facebook. It's easier. At the Retro Renovations. We also have our website, which is not very well known, which is www.retrorenovations.co.uk. And if you want to follow him, Jack he's, Collie Dog. No, he's Jack Collie. Jack Collie. On Facebook. On Facebook. <laughs> yes, the dog has his own page. Yeah, dog's got his own page. And we're on Facebook as well. And the more the car side of it is available on Facebook, we mm. will do some on tours and stuff on youtube but youtube is more about us us and what we're doing and yeah. we appreciate you coming with us and it makes it more fun for us we've been to some lovely castles and stuff like lately i say the videos all to come and it just makes it nice not just walking around the castle yeah. thinking this is nice but walking around the castle thinking, and then showing you what yeah. we enjoyed and believe me, there are some bloopers, which I will do a blooper reel just for Christmas. For Christmas, eh? For Christmas. Christmas blooper reel. Yes. I managed to say it. You did, without mm. messing up your words. Mm. So, from Chloe, from myself, and from a very loving, cuddly Jack. It's Facebook time. Can't think of any more. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. To keep up to date with our adventures, subscribe now. If you would like to support us in making our videos, why not support us through Patreon? Leave your feedback below. We want to hear from you. See you on the next one.